I don't know. You get this. You eat this salad. And oh, it's supposed to help I've heard about this. induce. So you know she eat, you did I'm, it. Yeah. So you I'm, ate it too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> No Brendan today. Uh, he canceled his gigs in Nashville t- this weekend and uh, Austin. Austin. Austin, because he's not going to be there because his daughter unfortunately had to go into emergency surgery. So he's mm. going to be dealing with that. It's uh, you know it's a tough. It's really tough. It's tough for him, and uh, we're all waiting to hear. Um, so that's why he's not here today as well. So he has to cancel the gigs. He's got no choice. He's got to be there as a dad. For his family and his wife and all that stuff. So our heart yeah, goes so, out yeah, to him. Our heart goes out to him. Send out your uh, yeah. know, thoughts and prayers yeah. for him. If you you know send him send him nice messages on yeah. uh, Instagram. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Love you, B. And yeah. um, you know, you'll get through it. Uh, so anyway, you know, tough to start a podcast on that note, but um, you know, we're here doing it, um, filling in, you know, without him, and it's all good. Because sometimes, honestly, I'm not here. Sometimes you're not here. So it's about time. He's not here, honestly. You know what I'm saying? It's like fuck. Good riddance. You make you making it sound like that. No, the guys. The, he's always here, honestly. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, maybe yeah. wasn't here once. Yeah, I think, I think he's only. I, I think in the history yeah. of, I think, of me I think being once. here, like once or yeah. twice. I don't think he's ever missed. Period. He's left early, but he's not. You know, he's always. Yeah, he always yeah, comes. Yeah. Dude, I was watching. Um, I was looking at Netflix, mm. and remember that Nef- that Will Smith movie, Bright. Oh yeah, I remember that movie. Yeah. Did you like it? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, I lo- I loved this movie. But uh-huh. anyway, they they it was like in two thousand and seven, yeah. I believe it was, and they they just recently after the the slap yeah. they canceled the making the sequel. But the, oh. the, but for me, it's like I think it's crazy when they're trying to make a sequel for something uh-huh. that isn't like it didn't happen. Maybe say a couple years ago. Yeah, like they're doing an I Am Legend sequel. Well, the, it's dude, fifteen years ago. Well, they're start. Well, they, the reason why they're doing that is because they're they they feel like the fan base is already getting money off of it, right? But still, no, 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 no. no. I agree. They do they do this a lot though. What's the statute of limitations? Do you think for for, for like a movie? Well, comes Bright out? was probably seven, eight years ago. That that that's too much. Yeah, to I know. I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, I, that was a great. It movie, should be like four. I think no, I think that movie got panned. I know, but I loved it. Okay, I know. I'm just saying. I, I, I'm, I'm saying because I think I'm trying to think of that. It was with Joel Edgerton, right? Where he was the alien or whatever. No, no, he was an was orc. He? Right, 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 right. No, but this was the see at the time. This the, was one that of the script first, sold for a lot of money. I remember. But the, at the time, this was one of the first times. It was like big the budget big movie, first big, yeah, one of the going first on big Netflix, Netflix. So it yeah, was yeah, kind of yeah. like, whoa, what right, is this? Right, right. But now it's like no big deal. Like there's right, so many. Like, I know, right? You know, there's so Are many. Are you? So wait, you, you. I I, it, it, I was looking at Netflix and it was yeah. one of those you know uh, jump back into or because oh. you watch and I was oh, like yeah, oh yeah. yeah bright so then I googled it I was like is there a bright two that oh. it was like bright two officially canceled because of the slap Be- yeah because of the Will Smith really? and I thought to myself all right what are we talking about that's stupid and this, people are gonna get over this <laughs> that's you know hilarious. what I mean hilarious I think they just didn't want to invest the money I think it was like an excuse oh yeah yeah was, because that was the ex- that, it was an expensive it was a movie. very expensive movie yeah. and then also. So that movie, I remember, yeah, I got so many views. Like they, how how weird is it though that there's these uh, m- movies like Bright, huge movies that you just forget about nowadays, dude. You don't, do, you never used to do that, dude. I'm in the middle of watching series that I like. You, maybe you yeah. go to like you're on Prime or something. Yeah. Then you go back to it and you go, oh yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah. on episode five of uh-huh. this. Uh-huh. So I, don't, I, I I forget about things fast. I, but but that it's so crazy the content. It's like it's not even movies now. It's content. It's just like it keep. It's like oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Like I I I started watching this show Criminal Record last night. It's a British what's that show. On? It's it's Apple TV. It's a new one. It just came out. It's like the first three episodes. And I'm like, all right, it's I'd watch it, but it doesn't have the fourth episode out yet. And I'm like, I'm mm, probably I'm, yeah. I'm not forget about the show in three. What were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude, 
I know I used to have like remember when you used to have DVR so yeah. you know so yeah. there's no DVR yeah. anymore because yeah. yeah. you yeah. just like I have YouTube TV you could just you could record stuff mm-hmm. but my thing my rule now is if four episodes yeah I haven't watched mm-hmm. I'm done I know I just go I'm I don't really I like this show I know and I it's it's not even it's not a bad show it's it's interesting it's just I I'm not gonna care next week. <laughs> when the another when the next one comes out. No, no, but you'll check in again when you see like, oh, there's three episodes to watch. Maybe, maybe. But I, I genuinely give up on on a lot of these shows. Like, dude, I'll yo. My favorite was Luke Cage. Was that the one? The Marvel oh, one? Luke Wait, Cage. Bro. I love Luke Cage. So yeah, it was good. And I it, that that it was a good show. <laughs> I think it was ten episodes. Yeah. Yo, I watched nine and a half. <laughs> Why? I, I had to do something. I had to do something. Why did you check back in and get the, I, the, the big conclusion? Hey, I still didn't. I just didn't. I don't care. I wanted to spoof this and call it Luke Beige. Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> Although I don't like. I don't and it's like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Luke Beige. I don't like protecting the neighborhood. I don't like just uh, black, big, strong black guys. Things that are based <laughs> off of one title, though, or just a, the title. You know, like I, I always think that that's a recipe for disaster. Like, give me an example. Uh, me, myself, and Irene. Yeah, they made it because of the title. Oh, uh, and and I'm not I'm not saying I don't even you know that might have been I have probably had funny moments, but I'm just saying like if you make something based off the title, although if it's a spoof, that's kind of the idea of it, so it doesn't really. Matter. Yeah, but Luke yeah. Cage is like no, I get the joke, bro. Uh, <laughs> At, no, Cage, I'm just like I'm saying he wasn't like he, he wasn't like in a cage. No, I do get it. <laughs> It didn't guess. open up with a guy in a cage. My name is Luke. He's caged, you know, in, in his mind, right? He has a cage in his mind, right? Yeah. So I, Adam Carolla would do a bit where he had people call in and give fake names of movies. Yeah. And then from there, we're going to... I think you did it one time with... Did uh, I? You were John claude Van Damme. Yeah. When, but what was the bit? What was the... What was it? The name of the movie, I don't remember. But the, uh, the, people would just say a title of a movie. And they'd, you'd have to guess make if it, it was up. real or not? No, they'd make it up, and then he would just... Say, say what, what it's about. about. Oh, he, no, that guy's good. Yeah, he's um, he, unbelievable at that kind of stuff. Cast it. Give the yeah. whole story. Yeah. Those were the days, though, man. What? Like 80s, 90s, where just you you would follow a star. Like, you don't do that anymore. Right. Think about that. You don't, I mean, like, yeah. Luke, like, you know, him, like, John claude Van Damme would yeah. be like, all right, what, 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 I know all his movies. Yeah, you know, I know. The one where he was a twin. I know. And then there was Double the- impact. <laughs> Double impact. Replicant. Oh, he has which, some good ones. Which, which was the one with uh, Dennis- Rodman, du- was that double impact? Double team, double teamed. Oh Jesus, there was oh, two. Oh God, there was two with double in it. Okay, uh, but imagine making, imagine, imagine you're pitching those. Wait, what's double impact then? Was that even with him? Deep impact? Are you thinking? Oh uh, no, Morgan that Freeman. Was the, was Deep there a impact movie? was the Deep impact was the water what? movie, right? No, that was the. No. The, the the asteroid movie. <laughs> yeah, but water. Too. Double impact as well. That was the twin one. Oh my gosh. Y- yeah, he had two double movies. And double, he did, and he did the team. replicant, which is yeah, multiple. Oh really? Oh yeah. Well, anytime you you're a a star, a, an action star, you're gonna do a movie where there's a few of you. What's crazy now is like that movie right there came out in the theaters. Right. Now, That's nuts. That's that nuts. would be a Delta Airlines flight y- movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It would be it would be made by Delta Airlines. <laughs> it would be De- Delta Delta Productions, dude. Yeah, dude. Those movies, and those you'd be like, Delta's come out with a streaming service. Oh, all right, cool. You know, doesn't it feel like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you, and the only way to watch the show is you have to. What if, what if they like you had to finish the episodes? You had to fly Delta. <laughs> You're Dude, like, the season got, finale? Yeah. We got to go to Arizona? They got me hooked on this new show. I got to go to fucking Indianapolis to finish the last three episodes. That was the first one, right? Bloodsport? That's the best one. Yeah. I never saw that. You never saw Bloodsport? Nah. Oh, my never God. Never saw that one. Saw all of the other. All. All of the other ones. <laughs> That'd be awesome if you watched it and gave a review of yeah, it. Yeah, It is incredible. Yeah, Bloodsport is. All uh, I know is this. That shit where, he, where, he, where, he, where they got the fucking, where he hits the guy like that and it's got the fucking thing. In Does the, it not, dude? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, oh yeah, or something, you know? Yeah. Jesus, that's true. Christ. When he had like some, something yeah. in his eyes, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yes, yes, yes. There we go. Did you see that show where he played himself and he was a spy? Oh no! That Wait, was oh that was so called. Oh, funny. It was supposed to be right. It was funny. Was as it hell. supposed to be? It was called JCVD, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Was it supposed to be funnier th- though? Yeah. Okay. 
Yo, he was, I didn't see that one. He was totally but making that was fun like, of that himself. came out like eight years ago. Did, was it that long I, ago? I just yeah, not saw, even right. Yeah, it was. But it I mean, that. it was so funny. I'm surprised that they canceled it. Mm. Oh, was it a show? Yeah, it was a show. He was playing himself. Oh wow, it was five years ago. Yeah, he was playing himself as a as a uh, that that this oh. is, that his him being a movie star was a cover for him being the international oh, hitman or something. Okay. I thought it was great. This looks like it might not be funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. I like when people like are aware of. Themselves. I do too, but also it, it, it's his movies are already just so funny. Yeah, but not on purpose. But that's why. I know, I yeah, know what you. Yeah, yeah. But but at this point now, when you look this old, you know what I mean. Like yeah. in his mind, he thinks he looks thirty one right here. Yeah, you think? Yeah, he doesn't look bad. No, I know. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know what you're saying. He's he's an impressive guy. He definitely le- like is a, like has his wife get like has his wife suck his bodyguard off and stuff. You know, <laughs> like there's no way. Why? There's no fucking way. Why? Just there's, because. There's, look at him. Oh, yeah, with, oh well, know. this was his thing, the splits. Yeah. Remember, this Come, used to course, be his yeah. thing. Oh, Why, wow, he could still do it? But this can't be real. I no. think it was. It was wow, a big that's deal. crazy. I want the cars not to be too far away. Yeah, but what happens? Like, <laughs> is there a point? What does he do Rip at this point balls. if he's like, ah, come together, yeah, yeah. come together. Closer, closer. <laughs> wow. I rem- That's crazy, bro. You know, I remember to this. To be the driver? I might have been the driver. <laughs> You cough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just hear this. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. Dude, you, just, you just get a phone call. You're just. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> and you accidentally kill John oh Hawk. Oh, man. But yeah, re- remember when God. being uh, doing the splits, when he, he made that like yeah, really yeah, like a yeah, cool yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I never. Did you ever do it? Can you ever do the splits? The splits, no. Mm-mm. I still. I honestly still um, try. I, I, I go to, when I go to the gym. I stretch. I try to do the, the uh, the splits. Why? Because I wanna. I wanna do it. <laughs> I've never done it. I can get pretty far. I'm 43, and it's gonna be like that'd be dope if I got it when I was like 44 or something. Well, he's 60 and still. But he well it. he because he started with it though. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying to get to it. Oh, he opened with splits. Yeah. <laughs> the first movie should have been called mm-hmm, Splits. Mm-hmm. Double split. I I uh, I think uh, uh, Van Damme. Might have been my favorite, actually. I think of the, of that. Well, genre. I you know, look, take. I think Stallone's my favorite, but they were so. It was Stallone and Schwarzenegger. It was like if you say they're your favorite, like obviously, but like Van Damme was my favorite. And then I, I don't know if I would consider this person this kind of star, but Bruce Willis was the best action hero. Yeah, but 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 he's not. He's yeah, an yeah, actor. Yeah, he's yeah. an actor. No, no. It, the thing with Bruce Willis, it was like. That was like middle-aged men were like, look what we could do this. Oh. That's what that was. These guys started were like, that way. Got th- it. These guys were like, you know, yeah, bodybuilders, right, like, right. You right. know what I mean? Oh, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? I, I, I you see know, what you're he, saying. Yeah, John yeah. Fogg Van Damme was yeah, a yeah, kung yeah, fu yeah. expert yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You know, right, right. Bruce right. Willis was just a dude that like you know stopped a terror right. terror strike. Right, right, became right. Became a thing. Yeah, I guess that was pretty funny how they did that. Like they just like. Stallone was so, or I'm sorry, uh, what do you call it? Because uh, Bruce Willis, when he did Die Hard, a lot of people were like, no, we're not, I'm passing on this movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then that just became like this, oh, wow, big. To the point know. where they made, like, he had a kid. Yeah, well, Die Hard was. Who was a, his age. Yeah, well, they're still making Die Hards. I he's going to be dead. That. They're going to make him with his likeness. <laughs> No, the di- the last one will be just he's yeah die hard. <laughs> Bruce is dead. <laughs> no, they, they keep waiting for him to die. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Won't die. <laughs> they, they call it <laughs> die hard. Um, Poor guy. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. He he was yeah. God, he was my he was my favorite dude. Yeah. Bruce Willis was just the shit. You know, movie stars were the shit, man. That's what I'm saying. There's no well, I, but a although name a movie star. Now. Okay, but here's the thing, Timothy Chalamet. Oh my god. Okay, or, uh, yeah, bro, I'm with you. I'm with you. But also this is what they look like now, you know? I know. Spider-Man, and, the, even the yeah, kid, yeah. Yeah, it's like they're not they don't look like, you know, I guess Ryan Gosling you could argue, but he's more of an actor. But he's old now too. Ryan True. Gosling yeah, might be right. like 50 right now. No, no, how old no, is Ryan Gosling? He's 42 maybe. Yeah, maybe how old is Ryan Gosling? Maybe my age. But Chalamet, oh, he's my age, yeah. Chalamet um you might as well be 50 if you're 43. I don't know. 
I feel like 50 and above. Well, I'm saying 43. Here's the thing, dude. 40, yeah, no, no, I, I get 40, it. I, I think that this generation of people, they oh, definitely. they wanted to be young, like yeah, actual yeah, yeah. young. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Ryan Gosling would probably be for young people be like, oh, he's like, oh, how old is he, 40? Mm, you know what I mean? Like, mm. That's the thing for, for him now. But Timothy Chalamet, I thought for sure nobody would give a fuck about a Wonka origin story. And I think that they didn't. I think that they went to see because of Timothy Chalamet is my point. I don't think anybody saw this movie. No, no, no. It did well. What's well? Look, look it up, Nick. It, it was number one. Good. Okay, look it up. Because only two movies come out a week now. All right. Well, that's you know fair enough. But but look, look, look it up. Look it up what it did. I mean, that's a lot. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Oh, bro. my yeah. God. Yeah. What? Yeah. I heard this was terrible, too. Well, I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course it's terrible. Should we, should we go watch it together? Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's a killing, though. Yeah, that is a killing. Considering how much it cost to make the movie. I mean, even if it cost two hundred million, which it didn't. Yeah. Yeah. But wow. This guy, now you know. I, okay. Well, he's yeah. a star. I, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, they didn't I, go. I love Dune. I, I really, I really nah, love that, that movie, movie. Was fucking so stupid. Oh my god! I here's know. Where we, here's where we part ways. This happens to me. I had this on my desk. Mm -hmm. And just for no reason, I'm playing video games yep. or I just I'm grabbing something and, and that's yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. happens good, all good, fucking day. Good, 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 good. Just by the way, I almost threw it. I made a lot of money on those. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with this, dude? Uh, this, he's this got chin? it. He, <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> it could be a, a cats, cats in the wild, chin okay. in the wild, but uh, oh, well. he's just got a funny uh, kind of a debate club. It wasn't okay. for us, but okay, okay. Oh, all right. But we're gonna use it. When people are out, I, mean, I hate when it does that. Do when people are at your house working on things like a maintenance person. Yeah. Currently, we have the washing machine guy working on our washing machine, and I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Like, am I supposed to ignore him, kind of, and just pretend he's not here and go about my day? Uh, I certainly don't want to be like hovering over him mm. either. Um, so I'm currently in the stairwell, <laughs> uh, just in case he needs to call me or something. Uh, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Is this normal behavior or... I... I, 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 you know, I don't know. Yeah, you're basically in the taint. <laughs> you know, you're like, what, what is it? Yeah. What do I do? You, you feel like a helper. Yeah. You're, you're like, do you need a wrench? Or... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> water? You know, you want water? Like, you know what I mean? Like, are you gonna? How long you be here? Are you gonna? You need something? Like, I'm gonna order food. Like, you know, you get to that point. It's like, but yeah, no. Washing machine guy is a number one guy. Like that plumber. Um, oh, we just we just had the plumber. Yeah, and what did you? Where were you? Well, so what did you do? Check this out. I I, I call the people. I say, yeah, the, we need. Well, I know we you were the there. Tub. No, we you weren't to, there. This just is, Rachel. This is what I'm saying. We oh, need okay. the tub fixed. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, you know, days go by. Mm -hmm. The lady says he's gonna come. Mm -hmm. End of day Thursday. Mm -hmm. All right. Thursday passes, mm -hmm. and we're like, where's the tub guy? You know. And then I get an email. Oh, he came. So then I look on my camera, okay. and sure enough. The guy comes to the door. Yeah. He knocks on yeah. the door. We're in a three-story thing, and he knocks like we're going to hear. Because <laughs> he gets a townhouse thing. So he it comes in, <laughs> goes and fixes the tub, and leaves. No notification. And I'm seeing the guy on the camera like, oh, my God. And Rachel was upstairs asleep. And I wrote them an email, and I was like, hey. You would have scared the oh living my, the baby shit out of out. my wife. The baby yeah. would have came out. Yeah, which would be great. And the baby would have went like, oh. Yeah, baby yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't know what to do. What do we do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he, do we wait? <laughs> Whoa, that's. <laughs> yeah, dude. So I was like, I said to the guy like, yeah, man. I, and I see the guy on the camera just kind of like knocking on the door. Like It's like if you live in a big place. And there's a doorbell thing right there. I have a ring camera. Yeah. So he didn't ring it. He didn't ring it. You know, so now I got to put that when anytime I make a request. Ring. The the doorbell, bro. They you don't know, care. a big place like this. You go, you go. They don't want to work. Hello, you yeah, know. Yeah. Who, who who are you talking to, dude? Hey, the, to the door. Hey, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to uh, work, bro. I I had a sign made mm. to put on my door that said, "Don't ring the doorbell. Don't knock. Baby is sleeping." Mm. One out of five times, they'll. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, I had a sign made. <laughs> it's nice. It's 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 hanging on the door. There's no way to miss it. You know what you should have made? 
you 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 have words on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it should have been like a cartoon. That is probably a really great idea. You know what I mean? Like with a finger. Yeah. There's a doorbell with yeah. a finger, yeah. and then the Ghostbusters. God, people are idiots, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. You get people that can't read. Yeah. Well, even yeah, true. Actually, that's why they're doing that stuff. Some yeah. of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or they just got here. You know, so they don't mm. put them in. Instead of like putting them in massage parlors. Yeah. They put them in like Grubhub. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No jerking off. Yeah. So. That's what happened because I, the, you know, this is what I can't stand when they can't figure out the, you, your thing doesn't work, so I have to walk out and get the food. Oh no, dude! Bro. I walk out, I, I just walk out, I grab the food like this, and I go like this. Good, 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 good. good. You see how it's working? Good. You good. see how it's working? Good, good, good. Wow, oh. Krista would be so mad if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Krista wants everyone to be nice and always be fucking happy and everything. And nobody has to, dude. I'm t- there's consequences, dude. <laughs> let's take a break. Yeah, look, and not only let's take a break. Let's talk about DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs, is bringing you an offer that you uh, that'll help make the playoffs electrifying. Is if the electrifying NFL isn't electrifying enough, we've got DraftKings Sportsbook to amplify that if you can imagine new customers can bet five bucks on any game and get 200 instantly in bonus bets well uh nfl playoffs this week we got ravens versus uh kc and then detroit 49ers What's up with my boy jared goff dude the oh. lions i uh, like him you, you, i see you, you going for detroit yeah so yeah you're gonna put that we, money on detroit we, we talk to each other online sometimes so i like what him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code GOLDEN. New customers can just can bet just five bucks to get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code GOLDEN. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. That's 467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-8789. 7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly on behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas. 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Yo, guys, check this out, man. Are you the same guy you were 10 years ago? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. No. <laughs> Uh, one day wake up, you realize you didn't have the energy, the lean muscle mass, or the get up and go in the bedroom that you used to have. Look, as we age, we lose testosterone. Mm. They call it man hormone. I call it the fire. But there's a real solution. The powerful testosterone booster in Nugenics Total T uh, has revived our energy, both of us, mm-hmm. and powered our workouts, put the old fire back in the bedroom. Uh, hello, our old selves are back. We feel amazing, Eric and I. Tap the brakes on the aging process. Every day that passes, you lose testosterone. That means less muscle, less energy, and less get up and go in the bedroom. Are you really ready to lose your shape, your muscle, your energy? Are you really ready to get old? No, nope, I'm not you ready. Can slow it down. Use Nugenics Total T. Eugenics Total T boosts free and total testosterone to help you get the old fire back at work, in gym, and in the bedroom. Mm. Nugenics Total T testosterone booster with Testafin will help you turn back the clock and re-energize your life. Prove it to yourself risk-free. Try Nugenics Total Tea before you buy. There's nothing to lose, okay? What else do you want? There's everything to gain. New energy, new muscle, drive, even more passion. Get your complimentary sample when you text 231-231 and enter keyword GOLDEN. Nugenics Total Tea's power boost is backed by clinical studies and real science. Nugenics key ingredients like testophen have been shown to boost free testosterone levels in men. In other words, it's based in science and it works. Nugenics Total Tea's unprecedented formula with key ingredients to safely maximize your free and total testosterone levels helps you increase lean muscle mass and skyrocket your performance as you age, whatever your age, all right? Don't be misled. Most products use all generic ingredients that aren't close to clinical grade, but with Nugenics Total Tea, you get premium key ingredients at the same powerful clinical potency levels used to in the trials. If and- you're not totally satisfied, Nugenics mm-hmm. will refund 100% of your purchase price. There you go. Plus shipping and processes. How about that? Now get a complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea when you text 231-231 and enter the keyword t- GOLDEN. Text now and get a bottle of Nugenics Thermo X, the newest and most powerful fat incinerator ever with key ingredients to help you lose fat fast and get lean fast, absolutely free. 
Text 231231 and enter keyword golden. Text 231231 and enter keyword golden. Texting enrolls you into recurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Number one doctor recommended brand by primary care physicians based on the independent survey conducted by IQVIA 2022. I told you how Rachel freaking put the wrong address and I'm out here yelling at the guy. Yeah. Dude, I, I, what, what happened recently? I was like, I fucking had to put somebody in their place and I couldn't do it because Kristen was there. Oh, no. And then I eat, I have to eat it. I have to eat that. No, and and later on, it becomes cancer. You, you got to, you have to have some kind of signal with I'm, Calvin. Bro, you have I, to signal with Calvin. Calvin, like, it's got to be like the thing where Calvin, I need to go off on yeah, somebody, yeah, get yeah, mommy yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's and good. Calvin is like, mommy, can you? I have to go potty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> The fucking code works, asshole. <laughs> Dude. Kristen comes back and you're just like this. Mm-hmm. You fucking do. Dude, he's all roughed up. Yeah. So everything's great, babe. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm... You got a shiv in his side. Don't say shit. Then she's just, what's this on TMZ? <laughs> um... What's up with the, when's this baby coming, dude? Dude, <laughs> they're you, slow cooking it. Wait, wait, dude. We went to first of all. It's been eleven months. For, yeah, dude. It's like this baby's gonna be fifteen pounds. <laughs> you know, so we went. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What up, Dad? I'm like, oh shit. So we went to this like. There's a place in North Hollywood that you can go that supposedly it's called the Baby Salad. Uh, okay, what yeah. is that? I don't know. You get this. You eat this salad. And it's oh, supposed to help I've heard about this. induce. So, you know, she eat, you did I'm, it? Yeah. So you I'm, ate it too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, sure. <laughs> it, it didn't something's work. coming out. Yeah, something's coming out of me. Um, <laughs> it, it didn't work, you know? Yeah. Because it doesn't work. Right. That's what I said. Like, if, if there's some chemical in the dressing, yeah, what like, that would be illegal, yeah, right? Yeah, it would be illegal. <laughs> and also, what is it and bottle it up? Inducement, right? yeah. Dude, the uh, my. My my, I, I don't. What would she be? She's my my wife's aunt, so my in law aunt in law, whatever. She was like, dude, to make a baby come uh, c- uh, come out, you have to drink uh, something like motor oil, castor oil. Yeah, that's what? not food, right? No, just, that's disgusting. You die, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you know maybe you're making your it would be like it would be like putting tear gas in your stomach. <laughs> That's how you get the baby out. You know, you just <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the baby comes out. <laughs> right, 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 you know, right. that's how oh, you would do that. Oh, yeah. So oh. she Rachel mentioned that the other day. She was like, "Look uh, at these old wives' tales. Sex number one. They do. I've heard doctors say sex works. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah, are yeah, some yeah. horny ass doctors. Nipple stimulation. That's Try on Eric you. Right now, you got to do it like that. Well, we we've tried all these things. <laughs> Spicy food. This is crazy. But that's weird because no, no, it no, hurts. You put it. In her pussy, it hurts her pussy. <laughs> Pineapple too. You got to do the raspberry inside. leaf tea. I make that for her all the time. Really? Yeah. Wait. Go back up, Nick. I want to see. It's pineapple. She. I, I have to cut pineapples almost every you day. You do this? Yeah. Because she thinks it works, maybe. Yeah. Because she says that pineapples makes your oh, wow. cervix. Oh wow. Ah, she just wants pineapple. Soft. You know. Castor oil. Soft Come ass on. cervix. Walking. We walk. Well, walk. I did the acupressure. What too. is that? What is acupressure? It's like you know. It's like you know. That oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? When you have a headache. Bumpy car rides. Oh, I try that too. I just <laughs> <laughs> is it out yet? <laughs> you know? Send her with Brendan. Yeah, she. Oh, 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 no, <laughs> hilarious. She's he just talked about it. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yes, yeah, the yeah. baby. You know. So I don't know. I, we've done all these things. I went when we went to go get the salad. I was driving crazy. What's in the, What is the salad? Dude, I don't know. And how did they market this bullshit? It's, it's, by and the there's, way, and there's a wall in the restaurant that says "baby." Baby uh, something. This is so stupid. Hold on a second. What began as a California restaurant serving a mysterious... Whoops! He turned <laughs> off it. Um, <laughs> pregnant patrons who hoped it would kickstart their labor has grown into a legend that is overdue women across the country mail order into salad dressing. Oh, yeah. Co- yeah Cody a pizza. Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hillary work. Duff is the latest celebrity to turn to the salad for some help with labor. Okay, well, I mean, this is one of those things that obviously isn't true. So just stop. We went. It was a good salad. Good. I had a good pasta from there. Hillary Duff's, Duff's cool though. That's not real, is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I think the, it is. The booty. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's really. Yeah. She's Holy tough. Crap. There's a really funny video of a dude like he gets into. It's a black guy and his girl, and then a white girl with a fat ass booty walks into the, walks into the elevator, and he and and the dude is just like this. <laughs> That's funny. And his girl's like. 
So, did you see the one where the, the, they're at the grocery store and they're like, the wife understood the assignment and then there's another person trying to pick out like some kind of fruit and her ass is like nice and the wife look, goes to the husband and she goes, it's funny. <laughs> and then, uh, wait, hold on. Have you seen, dude, I just, I found this out. It's got like 18 million views or some shit, but have you seen, go, dude, Google this. It's a funny video. Go to YouTube. Um, uh, walking into KFC until I find a black guy. <laughs> oh my God. Bro. And you're just Eric's, seeing this? You've seen it? No, you're just seeing yeah. it? Yeah, have you seen it? No, I haven't oh, seen dude, it. Oh dude, Eric's gonna love this kind of shit. There it is, right at the top, right there. <laughs> Eric's gonna love this. Hey guys, it's Manla Isaac, and today I'm gonna walk into KFC and stay there until I see a black person. Let's see how long it takes. He's British? Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like it. <laughs> How funny is that, dude? How funny is that? Oh my god! Do that now. Do the McDonald's fat person one. Oh my god! This one was great. This one's great too. Bro, what a funny idea! Oh. It's, it's so funny because all of he does it. Hey guys, Go ahead. it's Manla Isaac, and today I'm gonna walk into McDonald's and stay there until I see a fat person. Let's see how long. Dude, dude. He does this for like all different stereotypes. The videos are like 11 seconds long. Hey guys, it's Manla Isaac. And today I'm going to walk into Starbucks and stay there until I see a middle aged white woman. Let's see how long it takes. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like. I mean, I don't know how many times you can yeah, yeah, yeah. do it, until, but he's got a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, that's a funny bit, but you can't really monetize those videos very well. They're only 18 seconds, so he needs to start a podcast. <laughs> he needs to start a podcast. We just does the that. 10 second podcast. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, but uh, I don't know the babies. You know, and then yeah, we went, well, yeah. So then we went to the doctor, and the doctor. So I thought the due date was the 27th, mm -hmm. and then they're having a conversation. Rachel and the doctor are talking. And they're like, "Well, you know, in the thing on our our computer, the original mm -hmm. due date was February 1st." Yeah. You oh. Know? So I'm like, "Well, what? Then where did we get the 27th?" Yeah. They say, well, sometimes when the ultrasound, yeah. they, they measure and they think. And yeah. I'm just like, oh, oh, don't something. do that. Don't get my hopes up. What, 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 what are we talking about Let me now? tell you something, too. I don't know why they say it's nine months because it's not. It's ten months. Yeah. It's 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 just straight up not nine months. Yeah. It's ten months. Well, it was a completion of a ninth month. Right. Because they're not counting. They go, oh, they're not counting the nutting. <laughs> <laughs> you should go right into the doctor at that point. When did you nut, sir? Yeah, yeah. And when did you not? <laughs> but okay, they, so uh, yeah. So I'm, j I'm just ready to just like have her belly just start going like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's so. But then, you know what's great? Just playing with the baby's like foot. What, it didn't happen yet. What do you mean? No, the baby is fucking kicking. I could see. Oh, I see what you're saying. I know wow, how, that's I, cr I know how yeah. the baby. Sh they, they, that's they, crazy. We did an ultrasound. Dude. Like the baby's like this and this is this fit, mm -hmm. and then he'll be like kuh, 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 doing this, and I can see the. You Ain't know? that weird? Yeah, it's so weird. And I just like imagine like you feel like something um, alien is taking over your body. What's it's weird like, is it's ready. It's ready now. It's a baby. In there. Yeah, that's crazy, you're dude. Right? It's ready to go. But you know, yeah, that's his IQ. That's the baby. Yeah. <laughs> My baby's in the nutshell. Awesome person in the nutshell. So I don't know, man. I just, it's just, I'm just kind of like, come on, you yeah. know. Everything's ready. And remember how you used to say, "My, I didn't remember when I had a first marriage." You were like, "Nah, you, you made it up. Uh, you making <laughs> this shit up? <laughs> I you better have a baby soon." <laughs> <laughs> Did the fucking makeup book affects people from the clumps came over and did it <laughs> just for just for her to get that purse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else? No. Yeah, what do we got? Do we got people? Forgot we were doing this. Fred Durst. What's up, everybody? At the Golden Hour. Hey, um, what's up, Nick? What's up, Chin? What's up, Eric? Chris? Brandon? Hey, I got a quick submission. Um, not even gonna ask you a question. I just suggest you watch this video. So there's a video of OJ like years ago shot with some reporter they're on a pier i don't know what they're doing it's just a quick clip of some lady some random lady while they're filming something walks up to him saying hey i've never shook hands with a murderer bro <laughs> and he's like oh thanks i appreciate that dude it is wild but then to top it off there's some clip at the end where uh she's like i've never had or oj surprises me with something right and uh it cuts to a scene or something where they're like in behind some door somewhere and they open it and oj is there with a knife <laughs> so i i saw this uh when it happened 
the on the news. So I'll pause it. I, I remember seeing this and as a kid, I felt so bad. Did you see this? No. Yeah. I, I was just like and I was like, well, I guess if he, I guess he did murder though, but 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 he got off. As a kid, I was so confused because I was like, well, he got off, but he he did get but people think he's a murderer so he is but he got off but he did it but then this woman did this i remember feeling so bad and confused when i saw this so who'd you feel bad for oj oh wow because because i was i was young and i also i old is this it 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 was like after old 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 old, like right after it happened oh okay and um and i also think about this all the time i think about this video all the time and I haven't seen it since then. So it's, I can't believe the dude fucking is bringing it back. Let's and I can't believe it. I haven't even looked for it yet. So go ahead. I've never personally shaken hands with a murderer. Oh, it's good to see you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Doesn't that hurt? Huh? Doesn't that hurt your feelings? No. After we finished filming, OJ said to me that uh, he had a surprise for me. And I genuinely was surprised. I think it was his idea of a joke. And this is it. Okay, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, but at this. what at what point did you feel bad for OJ? When she the, the first lady. The she first lady. I know, but <laughs> well, here's the deal. Is that the point where you were like, oh, because here's the deal. At that, I, th- I, I, I think I wasn't sure. Like he, he well, I don't know. I okay, here, here, let, me, let me. Yeah, here's the thing. He okay. Let's so, say yeah. hypothetically yeah. he is guilty. Right. He got away with it. He's a psychopath. So that's why you would make that joke. That, yes, the joke let's part. Say, yeah, 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 for sure. Let's say right. he didn't do it. Right. He's been going through all this. Yeah. And he got off, like, finally I'm vindicated, uh-huh. and now he's just making light of the situation that he... he no, you know. but I, I didn't see this, the stabbing thing. Oh, I only the saw the first only part. only saw the first part? Yeah. No, but, it, but it's like, that's like, that girl was original, that's an original Karen. Yeah. That's a Karen before Karen's. I don't know though, but it's like so weird the OJ thing because like everyone collectively says he did it, but also he got off, and 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 we just understand that the justice system is flawed and that he did do it, right? I mean, nobody does anybody think that he didn't do it? I don't know. I, no, I think everyone thought he did it, but remember they, that came off the Rodney King trial. Yes, no, I, I, so I understand why that. They're like they got to like. Yeah. That's why I felt like he got off. It was such an interesting thing, man. Because well, it's still going on. I mean, he's still, I mean, he's he's out here, like you know, Mr. Simpson did. But, you did here's, but you know what I feel? It's like this is the strange thing about mm-hmm. the world. Mm-hmm. So this woman thinks that this guy <laughs> viciously murdered two people, mm-hmm. and you want to walk up to him and shake his hand and say, "I've never shaken my hand with a yeah, murderer." Yeah. You know what he should have done? What is hold, held onto her hand just a little bit? Oh, just, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like she tried to walk away, he should have went like, just, 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 just a second. You know what I mean? Like just a second of being like, I just want to get a good look at your face, and then let her go. Like uh, the, <laughs> that would have been balls on this bitch gangster, to do that. Dude. You know what I mean? He should have done that. She would have like it would been like this, like you know. And then I just go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just give him a little. Like wow, yeah. But that's just that. That's that. Like you know, I don't know. And then and then he's giving an interview, and the lady's like, "Well, how does that make you feel?" He's like, "Well, you know, you know what's crazy about OJ? What? You know how he paid for all his uh, trial money, Mm-mm. memorabilia." Yeah, I think I did know that. But what a person like that? What would they do now? They would have to have a podcast from jail or something. No one cares about memorabilia like that right now. Oh, now, yeah. Like he was, he was right. literally signing footballs Eesh. in prison. Yeah, they were sent, they were bringing stuff, and he had to sign it. Like that's not a thing that. Have you seen that? The only the, what would you do now? The only uh, theory that I think has any sort of like merit to it is that his son did it. Did you ever see that one? That one makes me feel so interesting, because I'm like, well, I would do that for my kids. You know what I'm saying? Like that is the only thing that makes sense to me. Bring it up. Oh, that he just yeah, like he, he took the blame he, or like tried to help. You know? Well, I mean, and I mean, if you look at the 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 the, the uh, civil trial, yeah. you yeah. know, I mean, everything that they didn't do in the the, the criminal case mm-hmm. in the civil trial, they they now they they did have shoes, the shoes, 
They did have pictures yeah, of uh, him. And, you know, uh-huh. You know, so I don't know, man. Oh. I mean, so this is like, what does it say? Oh, are these all the conspiracy theories? Guilty. Recently, it was brought to my attention to check out his son, Jason. Here's what I found. Prior to the killings, Jason was diagnosed with intermittent rage disorder. He had stopped taking his medication two months before the murders. He wrote a note in which he talked about killing anyone who hurt a loved one of his. In his past, Jason had nearly killed a girlfriend and seriously injured another. At the time of the murders, he was on probation for attacking his boss with a knife. He has no alibi that can be supported as to where he was during the murders. His time card for work that night was handwritten, even though the electric What's clock this? was working. A black navy watch cap with with animal fur on it was found at the crime scene. Photographs obtained from Jason's storage locker showed that he wore them often and that he had a dog. In this locker was also a knife that matched the description of what was used for the murders. When is this all? knife training from the Navy Academy. The day after the murders, OJ hired a top criminal attorney to defend Jason, although he wasn't a suspect. Police never even tested the fingerprints found at the scene or the DNA under Nicole's fingernails against Jason. After hearing all this, what do you guys think? Okay, so like, let's just say like that that could be all bullshit. She's the daughter of that girl that was like, how do you Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that could all be bullshit. I mean, uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? She's just but but I heard when I first heard that I was like, if all this shit is true, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just crazy even if he killed he killed them, and then he's just walking around. That's already crazy. Who? OJ? Yeah. Oh, all of it. Yeah. You, you no matter what, what happens, like, it's crazy. No matter yeah. what happens, it's crazy. But yeah. imagine, like, a, a, I mean, I, the, the, what does that make you feel? Like, okay, so let's say this is that yeah. is a true thing, and yeah. then somehow they, they you know. I, I, it's a really weird mix of feelings because I feel, as a dad, I'm like, wow, OJ did what he had to do. That's, uh, I mean, I would do that. You know what I mean? Like, my, my son's not going to, I, I would, that's me. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. But, but here's my question, though. Like, what? if that guy is diagnosed with all this stuff, right. what's going on with him now? You would think you would have heard this before. I've never heard anything ever about OJ's son. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, Same. really? Yeah. Have any of you ever heard? I've nope. never heard anything. No. So, so I'm, I'm letting you guys know about this. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. the first time I've ever heard about that. So what's going on with him now? Well, he's in St. Petersburg, Florida. And uh, he has a private life away from the glaring eyes of the media. And uh, he concentrates on his real estate career and really makes any features in the media. And stabs a bunch of people every now and then. <laughs> he <laughs> meant he's doing a showing. Four bedroom. You love it? <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Uh, do you check proof of funds? Oh, you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's. So he's not really angry. That no. like like that's crazy. Yeah. What you just yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's, he he has rage issues. I don't think he would be so. Yeah, but he's got. It's been years, and now he's kind of comfortable with it. And he's a real estate agent. It's pretty wild, though. I, you know, it, it's kind of look. Just in the slogan should be killing should be in the slogan God, of God, God, his real God. estate. You know, yeah. Come to OJ Real Estate. You or know, slash prices. Maybe we, we're, we're but OJ, <laughs> but OJ would do that. He were with the, we, Oh, OJ should be like one of those like Cal yeah. Worthington. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like he should. He should have Go like see a, OJ. <laughs> yeah. Go see my. Does son. OJ make money now? Does he have money? What does he do? Oh, his pension from the NFL. Wow. Yeah. Wow, which is a pretty good sum of money. Mm. I believe it's something like two hundred fifty thousand a year or something like that. Four twenty. Yeah, you can, wow, you can live great off four hundred. Yeah. Damn. Well, he's probably still got residuals from things, and you know. I guess they're not. I guess they still play stuff, right? What, yeah. what, what can you do? I mean, he's like, yeah. he should just. I mean, and, uh, check it out. If he started a podcast. I mean, this, this is already fascinating that he he's on social media. Just it any, is, just huh? pick a video and but listen to but Dude, I, I met Sammy the Bull Gravano the other day, and he's on social media all over the place. You know who that is? The underboss of the fucking. Uh, he was saying? on Fighter and the Kid. No, no, no. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was because I was a Brian show, oh. and fucking Sammy the Bull was there. <laughs> Brian's always hanging out with like you know the craziest motherfuckers, <laughs> and um, and I and I and I and I met him, and it was just like, dude, this guy admitted to killing 19 people and and served time for it and now he's just out and now he's just out mm -hmm. well i mean and it's like and he's got a podcast and a book well and then like, prison works well no uh, yeah i understand right, <laughs> right? If it's supposed to be yeah yeah <laughs> guy's been rehabilitated right, he, right, he right. served his time for his crime and now he's out here in the streets just being like you know but the family very nice too yeah super sweet oh yeah charming yeah, no, but yeah, yeah knowing he killed them he was, very char so weird. charming yeah. it is weird because he like he made a deal and he basically took crime uh uh organized crime down yeah. like if some people say he was the most important like without he he took it down right by being uh, an informant because 
the other people were Gotti was going against him, and he was like, "Well, fuck that." Then I'm exposing everyone, and so he took that. He took them all down, and um, he what was I gonna say? Does he fear for his life at all? It, he seems chill. He's but so I, my chill. whole thing is like, why is he not dead? That's what I'm just asking. He just right lives now. in Arizona. Yeah, he's just there, and no, nobody. He just doesn't. I think because he's such such a huge figure now. Like, if you kill him, you're gonna get caught for I sure. I guess, but that mafia that doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, about yeah. but there is no mafia. That didn't really stop anymore. him from killing Epstein, mm-hmm. right? right? Yeah, <laughs> talking about huge yeah. figure. In jail, though, yeah. But it's yeah. pretty crazy. He so he got five years for 19 killing. Oh my! And, well, but he also it was a plea deal. He exactly, took, he of course. Yeah. And who all did he take down? But my point was, everyone in the. Look, he killed people in the game. He never killed innocent people. He killed the people in the mafia, which is, okay, look, live by the sword, die by the sword, okay? Live by the gun, die by the gun. But, like, you, you know, the families of those people are probably like, well, what the fuck? But here's the thing, though. If you're part of the mafia, you're going to get got. That's part of your shit. Like, this dude killed his brother-in-law and shit or whatever, you know? but what I'm saying is, isn't the mafia have a thing about, like... You know, you know, we we even in movies they talk about not snitching. Yeah, La Cosa Nostra. Yeah, so it's like, but so, but well, yes. Who are you now? This uh, guy. Well, <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> yay on the arm, right? But uh, but no, but so you're secretly a hitman this whole time. It's fucking crazy though, because then after that he got out, and then he got 18 years for uh, a, a um, oh, so ecstasy, he did some an ecstasy ring. Yeah, in '99. That's Why what do I got know him. So much about this, yeah. That's no, what but got that, him. that's, that's years. a lot. So nineteen killings, five years, some party drugs. But then the one, but you once, go away for twenty. But once they did that, they were like, "All right, we got him," because they wanted obviously to put him away. Right, for right, more, right, right, right. You know, yeah, it's like they, the DAs try to get you for later of stuff they can't prove, like when they send OJ to prison just for stealing his exactly, memorabilia right. back. It's like retroactive right. punishment. Yeah. It's like it was like when they gave um, oh, yeah. uh, uh, Denzel Washington the Oscar for Training Day, not Hur- Hurricane. Yes. They should have gave it to him for Hurricane. Hurricane no, they should have given it to him for Malcolm X. Well, okay, but that was years later. I'm talking about he did Hurricane, didn't get it. The next year he did Training Day. They gave it to him for Training Day. Yeah. He deserved it for Hurricane, and everyone knows it. <laughs> and everyone knew it back then. Yeah. Well, it's Dude, just like hurricane. they gave, just like Pacino, they gave him for Scent of a Woman. And he, that's when Denzel should have won. Oh, was, it, was that the same year? Yeah. Dude, Pacino should have won already, though. For for uh, but he didn't. I know for uh, Godfather. Well, yes, but also but there the, were so many better actors the, than Godfather. Nah, but 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 what's the one with the? God damn it! Not Chris Christopherson, isn't it? Uh, where he, where he go, tr- tries to rob the bank. Oh, you're talking about Heat? No, no, no. no. The, yes, game? Dog Day Afternoon. Oh. Um, he should have won for that. Uh, Heat is one of the top five best movies I've ever seen in my life. What? Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. When? I love Heat. It, top five best movies I've ever seen in my life. Uh, Bro, that shit is an opera. Oh, I know. That my, shit is. My favorite My favorite scene in Heat, though, mm-hmm. my favorite, favorite scene mm-hmm. in Heat, De Niro is scot-free. Mm. He's like, he, he, he won. And he's on the freeway. Mm-hmm. He's going to, he can get away. Yeah. But he's like. I gotta go kill this dude. <laughs> he can't do it. He's, he's addicted to the life. He's, he was like, I gotta go kill this guy. He's addicted to the life. You yeah. know? It's like when a porn. Hey, I just saw heat. Hey, I just saw heat. Sorry, that was. Uh, was that Pete Davidson? That was uh, Jim Gaffigan. He In his oh. first Comedy Central Presents, he had a bit about seeing movies like eight years after they come out and it's oh. hard, they're hard to talk about. He's like, hey, I just saw heat. Wow, Jim Gaffigan has looked terrible for years, <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know him? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, God <laughs> damn. He looks better now, right? He looks better now. He look, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, he, yeah. Does, he looks so much better now. Yeah, but like, because you find yourself. there he looks 47 yeah. right there. Right? <laughs> you know, he was 23 right there. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, God damn. You, get money, you know what it is? It's money and age, Yo, man. You, you, bro. Six more months of me working out, you're gonna be like, God no, damn, bro, Griffin. Bro, just look. Let me look. He's a, he's a friend of mine. Joe Coy had a glow up. Joe Coy had a glow. You make money, you start looking good, dude. Yeah. Joe Coy. Well, he wasn't making 15 money, years man. ago when I was opening for him. He looked like the fucking toxic crusader. I swear <laughs> to God. Look. <laughs> 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 Now you look at him, he's fucking handsome. Well, but you know what I mean? <laughs> got his teeth done, got, I think at least. I don't yeah. Know. He did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I, he, I used to do his podcast, Koi Pond, at Corolla. Oh, and really? he, he, They were $60,000. And I was always Damn. like, if I have that money spent, I'm getting perfect teeth. Wow. 60000 $60, What do you guy hey, Beverly Hills. So what is it? You go in. And what do they do? Well, they take teeth from a Taiwanese kid. <laughs> no, no, no. And then grow them in they, a... They, they file them down to the, like, like, yeah. like that, which is crazy. That like, part like I know. Vampire teeth. That and then they put on caps. Veneers. Yeah, veneers. That's wild. We've actually no. got a guy with a submission who has um, respectfully. He's got veneers. Let's okay, say. let's see. I want to get him, even though I don't need him. I, I just want to get him. I want to have teeth like the mask. <laughs> like just straight <laughs> so up stupid. hardcore. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's kind of hot when chicks have those big ass veneers. No. I'm a weirdo. Yeah, you are a weirdo. <laughs> you would want to look like. Please, somebody Photoshop those teeth onto Chris. Uh huh. I'm into it. There's probably a filter that you could do that. Oh, definitely. <laughs> well, who's the guy with the veneers you're talking about? Uh, he's got my bread. He, 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 he I'll have him in a sec. Oh, there he is. He did a submission or something? $60,000. Yep. Oh, that just that's a lot that's of money. That's a lot of money. But, but you, you, that's a big thing for... Oh, this is like... You don't really look good if you have bad teeth. It's kind of Adam Carolla-ish, right? And no. then you see the bottom area. Oh. Oh, then I wear. What's up, baby? It's Ram from Santa Clarita Valley. Have a quick question for you guys. I am married. We're going on four years now. And when you're in a marriage, you know, there's little things that I feel you can do to, to just have smooth sailing there. And one thing that me and my wife both swear by now that I have to get your opinions are not separate beds, but separate blankets. We each have our own blanket. So in the middle of the night, no one's rolling, taking a little bit. Dude, already, honestly, it feels like problem. no one's there sometimes, and it's fucking amazing, and I can never go back. But I don't know. Have you guys tried it? I mean, do you guys roll separate blankets now? Do you guys have the, I don't. You know, the, the one big blanket, and you got everybody and the kids under there all sharing? Or mm -hmm. How you guys doing it, man? Because for me, bro, never again am I sharing a blanket. Dude, that's I, suckers, man. Uh, uh, but anyways, have a great day, guys. Talk to you what a nice guy. Those... I, have, I have two separate blankets. Oh, wow, dude. I sleep on top of the blankets. I don't give a fuck. I make it hot, and I sleep on top of the blankets. Ugh. <laughs> it makes sense. I love it. You're I love being too hot, animal. bro. I love being too hot. The plane on the way back from Phoenix was so hot, and Kristen's like, it's hot, huh? And I'm like, yeah, it is hot. And she goes, God, oh, man, what the heck? That's so crazy. And she looked away, and I go like this. <laughs> I was secretly happy, but it was hot. No, we had the AC blasting, and I have two blankets. Nah, bro, that's crazy. And we have we, and we have sick. one of those uh, uh, Tempur-Pedic ones now, so it's like almost like, you know, separate. So I have my own sheet, <laughs> my own bro, blanket. Chill, bro. What? Chill. Don't have all that. Yeah, I have to have all that. Sell it. No, we can't. Do it. What, we sell on open market blankets <laughs> for sale for the open market. No, I have to have my own blanket. I don't know how you do that. I, I never thought of that. That's a good idea, but I'm not doing that. Yeah, but Rachel's a monster. I, I, I know, I, I know. She'll have the whole, you know. Dude, Kristen, I, I, man, she plays fucking. She'll play Pokemon <laughs> on her phone when she's going to bed. Mm -hmm. And she's, you know, trying to catch the thing. I know. In a bed, right? <laughs> and. And I'm like, it's okay. It doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. It's actually kind of nice, you know. But I'm like, she'll do it and, and, and then do a crossword and then she'll like fall asleep doing it. I'm like, man, I can't imagine being on your phone falling asleep. Like that seems like oh. I'd be wired. Dude. I have to send a video of me. I do that all the time. I have my iPad really? on my chest and then I'll just be snoring. Really? Yeah. Then the iPad will hit me. <laughs> what are you doing on the iPad? I'll be watching. Just surfing? Oh, watching. Yeah, because like she watches the TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, okay, so. While, while she's playing on TikTok or whatever. So, or and La, then. La Kudo. She'll, and then I'll wake up. She'll wake up. I'll wake up. And she'll be already on her phone. Waking up on your phone. Going to sleep on the phone. Wake up on the phone. Now, let me let me just say this. Kristen is not addicted to her phone. She does not have. She's not on her phone a lot. She actually loses it a lot. She loses it for hours. She's she's cool not being on the phone. But when she's on the phone, she on the phone. It's on the phone, and <laughs> and she does it every night before sleep. And I can't. That's got to be bad for your fucking sleep. Yeah, it is. There's studies about it. Mm. It's crazy. But like I, this is when I watch my shows. Is right before yeah. I go to bed. You know, I'll catch I up on my show. And then I, when I get, then I'll fall asleep and I'll be like, all right, that's it. Boom, close mm -hmm. it. Boom, go to sleep. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. But then, but then I see her like she'll 
have her back to me. Yeah. And I see like a light, like a, yeah. a, a, a campfire on the other side of her. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like she's getting abducted. <laughs> it's annoying, bro. Because I'm, I, bro, bro, you remember when you used to cuddle and shit? I don't do that. Like she's so far over. I'm like, all right, fuck it, you know? Oh, you know what I found out is the move for me, bro. I, if I can't sleep, mm -hmm. oh man, I just grab a pillow and I hold it and I'm out, dude. Um, I am out, bro. Get yourself a teddy bear or something then. I could and I should do it, but the pillow works fine. Like a light, like a light. I'm out, dude. <laughs> and I, and, and if I can't, dude, fail safe, splurting. If I, if I masturbate. <laughs> Dude, it do is. Just, do you just do it in the bed with her right there? You already know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the so it's like this. So Chris is like yep. this. She's on the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all of a sudden, the bed starts moving even more. Like, yeah. No, I just put my hand on my my penis. Whoa. I don't even have to move it. It's manual. It's she does it for me. <laughs> she does it. Babe, play. <laughs> Turn on Pokemon. Turn on Pokemon. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Dude, but no, uh, faster, that's, faster. That's the fail safe, though, dude. That's the fail safe. That's the ripcord, dude. If I just if I do that, oh my god, I like heavy things on me. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I kind of like about the pillow. Yeah, like it's not if, heavy, but you hold. If me I take, if I say, Rachel, put your leg. Mm. She puts her leg. Oh, well, we, I saw this article, one mm. of those like you know Instagram from like a doctor type thing that mm -hmm. it says like mm. when you're close, really close to someone. Uh, and you, you'll if you fall asleep, mm -hmm. you're it, that. That's when you're bonding. Like you, you bond because of mm. their, whatever the serotonin, yeah. or whatever. And if you fall asleep when you're with someone you're really close, to, it's because you're bonding with them. Whoa! So I say that to Rachel all the time. She's like talking about something. I'll be like, babe, I'm gonna bond. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like that's what happens when she gets really close to me. I, if I take her leg and put her leg on, yeah. If I once I, I feel that, yeah. Then I'm just I'm gone, bro. I used to with my ex. We used to fall asleep like two or three different times. We dreamt the same dreams, and that was crazy. My she well, was lying. One to of you. my ex. <laughs> yeah, but she I think one time. You. No, I know, but I think one time I was the one. I was like, what the fuck? No. But yeah, chicks lie, Dude, right? Your, yeah, your chick was doing Ouija board with you're you. You're probably right. Say hello. To the, you you're know, probably yes, right. Yes, there's yeah, someone yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, she was yeah, moving yeah. it, and you were like this, bro. Wow, <laughs> said I should buy you a fucking Birkin. <laughs> um, yeah. I wish you could contact her and be like, "Were you lying about the dreams?" And she'd be like, "Yeah, I just." I could contact her. We're still on good terms. I just wanted to be supportive. Um, you think yeah, you can so. connect more just by touching, but you can't share share some thoughts? I think that's that's real. Well, yeah, no, I'm not saying it's not. Uh, he is. Oh, 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 got it. Got it. No, that's not real. I, I'm not. I'm not saying it's it no is way, real. No way. No way. You have the same dreams. No way. That's real. I love how hardcore you are about it. I tell you that. Much. I'm telling you right now. There's no. Then, then magic's real. Okay. All then, right. Then reading minds is real. And All like, right. Telekinesis is real. I want your phone right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, and your girl was going like this. Bro, how many times? <laughs> You closed your eyes and she threw hey, it. Hey, what to the you. heck? Yeah, yeah. How many? How many? How many? Keep this up. How many times in your life have you genuinely thought, like, God, I, I wish so bad that it was real that I could fucking move objects? So many times, Chris, bro. I don't want to get up. Don't even get. You don't. You don't. You, and I, and I, I get sad. I get sad. Like like this, yeah. I've done this numerous times. Right. I'll just be like this. You try. Yeah, me too. Same. <laughs> it never works. <laughs> you know I mean? huh? It never works. I just and sometimes you think just move a little, bit. please. Yeah, I just I go like this. I go like this, please. But but I do. Give this, me a sign, Lord. No, but I do this thing that pretend like if if let's say you could shoot fire from your hands. Yep. All right. I'm in. All right. So there's a thing that you I would do. do it. So I tell myself this is how I would activate that power. Mm -hmm. And I go, you know, mm -hmm. and I could feel like like this the fire would come out yeah, right now if yeah, I did yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a kid. You know. So sometimes, <laughs> You're a kid. So You're sometimes six. when I'm like so I think like, oh I, f yeah. I can feel something. Yeah. Like I go, oh yeah. so then I well, I'll go on Rachel's head yeah, and I'll yeah, be yeah, like, yeah. Rachel, tell me if you feel something. I go, mm. Yeah. And she goes, I felt something. Oh wow, she's such a chick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I, that's what I know. I so I wish. That would I mean I know. And I, I genuinely yearn for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I I feel you, dude. You know? I thought you might, bro. Yeah. And it's like it's sometimes like say say like Rachel does something and she walks away from me. Oh, I've done this too. I'll be like What if know? what if when she was walking away and she just goes <laughs> <I'll be> like, <laughs> I pissed. <laughs> <laughs> 
When you you can just make your wife shit or pants. Or what if what if she says? Oh. <laughs> oh, I like how that's why? where he's thinking. Or oh, going to labor. Why? Maybe use it for good. Yeah, use oh, it. Yeah, use it for good, <laughs> bro. I'm really Magneto. Excited. <laughs> Dude. Shit. Shit. What, what about the baby? No, I want you what, to what, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if you walked away? What if she walked away from you and she goes, ow? And then she heard, yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Of course you would say yes. <laughs> if, you're, if you're trying to use powers and it finally worked, you'd be like, oh my God. I know. It's just, it's just funny to think her, like you're happy that she's in pain. <laughs> you need to be like, babe, stay right here. See if you feel this. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. try to, I don't know. <laughs> your neck still hurt? Yeah, but but dreams. No one shares dreams. I'm sorry. Babe, does your neck hurt right now? <laughs> no. God damn it. <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. You're, you're just, Can you use it for good? <laughs> you're just downstairs going like this. <laughs> Fuck. You're here. <laughs> I pissed. <laughs> What's this? The most commonly reported type of mutual dream is known as a meshing dream. Two people's different, dream, different dreams which share certain elements. You're probably both watching an episode of Love Island. Sure, yeah. This, well, it's a fucking weird example. Love Island. And then both of you dream about being stranded together on an island. Yeah. I mean, okay, cool. I had some crazy dreams last night. Man, do you remember your dreams? I remember them for a second. Because I remember yours. <laughs> I wake up, I go, Eric, I got to talk to Eric about that. <laughs> no, but you're, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes. So, but, but, it's weird that you remember them. I mean, how about when you wake up and you go, oh, fuck, I got to remember that dream. Hey, you start, do. come on, me. Don't forget that one. Yeah. Gone. You go back to sleep. You wake back up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How what about this? Was it? Sometimes I'll <laughs> have a dream. Well, you know, you wake up uh-huh. and there's a moment where you're like, oh, that wasn't real. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I hate it. Oh. Have you ever? Because I, I, sometimes you're just like, I used to, I, sometimes I feel like, we, or have you ever woken up yeah. in the dream at a moment where like, ooh, Something was about to happen, yep. or and I feel like sometimes I feel like like that's happening on purpose. Like this is like that's an alternate universe mm-hmm. we're in, and I've had we're some, waking up because yeah. if we don't, we'll stay there forever. I had two dreams. You, you've had wet dreams, right? Like obviously not recently, but like when you were a kid. <laughs> um, I had one when I was uh, a kid with Mo- Molly Ringwald. Oh my god! I had a wet dream. Dude, it was dope. Fuck off. <laughs> and then. Um, and then I had you just woke up. You're like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I had one when I was a little older, um, and I, 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 I kissed. I was in an elevator with Beyonce, and we like kissed for a while, and I was super hard. And um, <laughs> I woke up, and I'm counting that. Like I kissed Beyonce. I, count it. <laughs> I, I hooked up with her. I count it. And then, um, and then I had another one where my my this is not a, a wet dream. It was just a horror dream. But where my dad died in a plane explosion, and I woke up and burst into tears, dude. Mm. Like, burst into tears. I was so happy it wasn't real. Like, I woke up and I go, oh! Like, it must have looked so crazy. I dated someone. She had a condition that she had to take medication because... Mm -hmm. Night terrors? The dreams would... She would be hallucinating... Like 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 awake and there'd be like a monster right here. <laughs> I don't know what that was called. I, I, I sweetie, wake up. We have to break up. Wake up. I want to break up with you. <laughs> That's called schizophrenia. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. dude. How about? Did I tell you this? I didn't tell you this. I told this story on congratulations uh, a few weeks ago. But Calvin, it was the night Kristen was um, away. She was away for that fucking game. The 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 the, the football game she went to. Whatever the cotton bowl or whatever the fuck it is. And um so anti sports. The toilet bowl. And so it was just me and Calvin, you know, and uh I put him to bed in his bed. I went to bed in my bed and then he woke up, came to my bed, and was like crying. And I was like, You're right, buddy. And he was he he does this thing when I can't wait for you to experience shit like this, but like he does this thing when like he wakes up, he has a bad dream, he'll wake up. And I'll be like, you're right, buddy. And it'll go like this. I'll go, ah, uh, and just start like, <laughs> like, I'm like, it's like he's acting, but I think it's, I don't think he's acting. I think he just doesn't really understand. He like, you can, you can wean out your emotions a little bit, but he's just like, it's overwhelming. 
Oh, like I'll just do that, right? And I'm like, buddy, it's okay. What happened? You know, I had a bad dream. So he had a bad dream. I put him back. I put him back to sleep, and and he kept waking up. And 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 there was one time where he woke up. He just I was in bed. He was next to me, and he just sat up. And I felt it, like because I was like on alert because he was like kept waking up. Mm-hmm. And he was looking around in the room, and I'm like, buddy, what are you doing? And he says, who's that guy? Oh, bro, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, like, I just we just need a scene from a horror movie. This, everybody just went, oh shit. Bro. I go. Huh. <laughs> like just stunningly scared. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you, but you know what? Good. Cause because you don't want a situation where there is a guy and you're true, telling your kid true. there's no guy. Okay. So 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 scared, but also, let's see if this is real. Yeah. Is there a guy in the house? Yes. Yeah, so okay. Did, so did you go like this? No, no, no. So I, <laughs> I look. But you're. A, I don't have my glasses on, but I can see enough, you know. Yeah. And I say, where? He points to a specific area. There's no one. <laughs> you might be like, good, no uh-huh. guy, no but- me. More scared. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> More scared. More scared. So I say, Yeah. Like, Calvin, I don't see anyone. And he says, uh, Yeah, there's a guy. And I say, Oh, what's he doing? He says, Why is he doing this? Oh, oh my God. God. Dude. So I'm 43. Okay. Uh, my son's three. All uh-huh. right. I go, I, in my head, I say, All right, Chris, you're real fucking scared. You can't act scared because your son is three and he needs to know the truth about what's going on. He's having a dream. He's having some sort of a weird thing. So don't be scared. And I I legit, I'm talking to myself, I'm like, come on, motherfucker, bro. (laughs) Do not get scared. Because I could could totally see myself turning on the lights and being like, all right, well, this is what TV. And then he (laughs) he senses that. And then he's a pussy in his life when he grows up because of this. Dude. I swallowed that shit hard. I, I actually made peace with it. I was like, if there's a ghost here and he possesses both of us and tears us up, at least I wasn't scared. <laughs> like that. This this was all the shit I was thinking of. And then two minutes later, you went, <gasps> yeah. I was fucking oh, yeah. scared, bro. So Calvin is Damien, <laughs> bro. <laughs> and then and then we woke up in the morning and he was like. And we were talking about it. He's like, remember I was scared of that guy? And I was just like, <laughs> let's just not talk about it. Mommy's coming home later. We <laughs> and then what did he say? What did you say to him? The thing is, when you have a three, four-year-old, and you'll see this, it's like you never really know what they're saying. Oh, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's like, you, you, you know, they wake up and you're like, did you have a nightmare? And they're like, yeah. And you're like, did you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, they yeah, just yeah. say stuff. Yeah. They don't even know. Because I think that's around the age where they're – they're, they're learning that their behavior gets a reaction yes. out of you. And so it's like, oh, bro, you know, so I get, I get, I can understand that, you know, I, I, there was a thing where maybe Calvin just knew that you had, was, you had a little bitch in you. And he was like, <laughs> he was funny, like, bro, because, there's a guy over there. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah. were like, no, there isn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because the other day, uh, he, he was with uh, our, the nanny, and she was like, "Well, we can't do that." And and he was like, "No, but I want to." He starts doing like that kind of thing, and I walk over there and I say, "Calvin," and he looks at me and I go, just like that, uh-huh. and he goes like this, and it was like the first time, I, no words were said, but I was like, and he knew the reaction, and he was like, "Oh, I better stop." It's it's wild to see this kind of shit, to, dude. <sighs> as they become a person, yeah. I go, so hey, sad. Calvin. And I, because I was gonna say you don't fucking do that, right? Uh-huh. But but I didn't have to, dude. It was it was it's wild, bro. You didn't, you didn't pick him up like this. Yeah, I remember when I, I used to I used to work at, with kids. We used to work at a school, and then like it was like this first grader. Mm-hmm. It was, they, they were first graders, and they mm-hmm. were like acting up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I went over to the, the the person that was acting up, and I picked the ch- the, the whole desk up. Wow, the whole desk yep. up with the kid in, it, and I yeah. just pulled it up to eye level. It was like, <laughs> don't do that. You know. But I did it because the rest, because the rest of the kids were like this. <gasps> oh, that's hilarious. You know what I mean? But they were great. I lo- you know, what was great about it would be like it would be great if you pulled your back then. I know, right? No, but what's great about it, it's like they, you know, if, when they would see you, they would be like, ah, 
Yeah, Coach Eric. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah, would yeah, run, you're cool, you know? dude, yeah. Yeah, then you'd be like, oh, that's what you need. And, mm. and, and some of my kids are so resilient, man, about like. Oh, dude. They get in trouble. They get in trouble. If you, if you Even if you have to be like, what do you do? Don't do that, you know? I, I remember this. I'll never forget this little girl. She was doing something bad. I said, you got to stop doing that. And then she went like this. I'm sorry. Oh, You know, and I was like. Oh, I, I know, I know, I know. I said to myself, oh, I better not ever have a little girl because. I, I know. As a man, too, like your voice is lowered. You, oh, I know. You know what I mean? Because I was like, oh, I'll, yeah. I was like, you didn't do it. I thought to myself, I have to be a disciplinarian right now, and I don't want to. Yeah. This little girl is so adorable. Dude. You know? That's funny. Yo, so, so Calvin. You teach about, only ugly kids. You that's what you should do. You're Who talking about <laughs> resilience. So Calvin, uh, about a year ago, eight months ago, fell down, hit his mouth, and he was fine. He cried. It bled a little bit, honestly. And his tooth, like, died. It's, like, gray now. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not a big deal because he'll lose it, and it, right? And it'll get regular teeth but it's a little gray one of his teeth in the front and uh the dentist was like oh yeah that happens when they hit their face sometimes it, it'll go back it'll turn back white or whatever and it's like all right cool it hasn't yet but <laughs> <laughs> bro calvin is at the point where like chris will just give him her phone and he'll like start to video and he's videoing himself dude we fuck man this is funny as shit bro <laughs> we're looking through kristen's phone at the videos he took. Right. He's in the bed, just like looking at himself. <laughs> in the, he goes, and he's going like this. <laughs> just making faces. <laughs> Look at that, it's true. No, he goes like this. He goes like this. And we see his face and he goes. <laughs> I have a doty too. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. He found it. And we have that on video, bro. I have a Doty too. And then the video stops. Dude. You have to show him that later. I can't. It was so. Do you understand how funny that shit was to see? Oh, my God. So funny. And we're like, well, buddy, it's not really dirty. It's just you hit it. and Oh, it's funny, bro. And then you have to like go into some like I know. grandiose exp I, I ex know. explanation. I know. He doesn't know shit what I'm saying. Right, right, right. You just kind of go. It's better just to say. The guy in the corner painted your tooth. <laughs> <laughs> that was with the guy. Remember the guy came in the middle of the night? Remember the guy? He, dirty, he gave me that tooth. That tooth. Oh, that would make more sense yeah, to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why the guy was there. <laughs> the tooth oh. guy. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's that it. it. All right. All right, cool. I got nothing because I'm waiting for oh, I do. a baby. El Paso, I'll be there. And Albuquerque, I'll be there. And I'm sure Brendan's got some dates that he'll yeah. be doing. Um, you know, after things are yeah, yeah, calm things down. are better. All right, um, and keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Yep. And Brendan, Brendan, we're thinking about you. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Well, now that you did that, I can't promote my other dates. But <laughs> which, which are where? Uh, well, they happen to be in Kelowna, BC, and Vancouver, BC, and <laughs> Rochester and Kitchener. But we, already, we shouldn't talk about it. We already <laughs> said. <laughs> I already ended the podcast. It's done. Yeah, yeah, okay. So right. what you're doing right now is like, also be it's like end credits for a Marvel movie right now. Yeah, yeah, what you're yeah, doing yeah. right now. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys.